Okay, so the world is still talking about it. And it's almost, what, two weeks later? I got on a plane and went to Scotland yeah. that night. So I'm, I've been oblivious until yeah. this moment. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that it was like on the front page? Of I had no idea that it was going to cause the, uh, well, the ruckus that it caused. <laughs> I mean, I, it was just a friendly kiss. <laughs> And you it, know, it really, it not really only, was, I swear to God. Not only did, was it a ruckus, but it's like major news stories. I heard that it's been like running on clips over and over and over again in this country. But you are totally oblivious. Yeah, there must be a lack of news stories or something, right? Now, was that planned or was it spontaneous or what was it? What um, was that? Basically, it was supposed to, you know, I was the groom and yeah. I had two brides, yeah. right? So, you know, the groom and the bride are supposed to kiss. Yeah. And it was just meant to be a playful kind of um, ironic comment on the bride and groom kissing because I had two brides, so I was going to kiss both of my brides. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. all of the rehearsals, rehearsals we did, it was very, you know, mwah, mwah. Mwah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And that then, was more than mwah. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know that, but that's, if, if Brittany it looks like she's, you know, kissing me in an aggressive manner, it was a surprise to me. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a showgirl. After 20 years in show business, we learn to roll with the punches, you know? Absolutely. That's right. You so don't go, oh, my... You get my a lemon, you make lemonade. If someone comes at you with their lips slightly parted, you have to kiss them. <laughs> uh, that's the way it is. It, but, but it was totally meant in innocence and fun, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know why people are making such a big deal about it. You really don't. I really don't. <laughs> you really don't. And are you surprised... Well, hasn't anyone ever seen two girls kiss before? Well, I don't know if most of America has. Have you? Yeah. Oh, now, listen, they're just acting this hip because you're here. <laughs> no, really. but I mean, yeah. it was silly, you know? Like, so it wasn't meant know. to be, you weren't trying oh, to please, make a no. statement or do anything? About what? I, I don't know. I don't know. Just I made those statements 10 years ago. 10 years ago. <laughs> My first memories of Madonna, I think probably when she did Like a Virgin. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I remember watching her videos and saying, I want to do that one day. First time I met her in person, I went to one of her shows. I think it was her Drowned World Tour. I was extremely nervous. Does she really know who I am? Like, I'm not that cool, you know? Just, just freaking Madonna, man. But she was very sweet, very, very cool. She was backstage playing the guitar and she was with Lola. We've worked together off and on. But one day I came to rehearsal and I was just really tired. And she was like, I just feel your energy. She's like, you're kind of down. She says, don't let this stuff get to you. She gave me that advice just to basically stay true to yourself, take time out for you and for your soul. I think she was a woman, she had a lot of balls. She did what she felt right. She's stunningly beautiful still, the way she takes care of herself. And away from work. The fact that she is able to raise a great family, to really make a family and a bond like that, I think that's so important. She's a true artist. I think she is the pop icon. She's like the pioneer of all women. Oh, 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 oh. Cool, Thank you. Wow. I'm so flattered. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back.